Hello everyone. We will continue the topic about dictionary. And in the previous videos, we covered table maintenance generator events. We took the requirement and we achieved that requirement using table maintenance generator events. Now in this video, we will cover how you can avoid deletion of TMG event score or how you can avoid overwriting of TMG event score. And many people ask about this because we do a mistake and because of that, what will happen? Whatever the code we have written, it will be completely, completely overwritten. So how we can avoid deletion of TMG event code? And in the project, especially if you have used so many events, if you have written so many logic and because of a mistake, the complete logic will be complete. The logic will be completely gone. We have to again do the copy paste from the previous version or if version is not there, we have to write everything again. So how we can take a precaution or how we can avoid deletion of TMG event code. So firstly, I will go for the scenario. Suppose this is our table. Important topic, important precaution topic is. Suppose this is our table. Suppose you got a requirement that you need to add one or two extra column to this particular table. Suppose I am adding a column, suppose ER that you can take any column. Suppose I'm using SAP data element itself, ER that. I'm activating that table. So I added one extra column to that table. Now, I will go to SM30 transaction code. So whatever the extra column I added to the table, it will not automatically come into this particular transaction code. I will not be able to maintain that data because previously your table has five column. You generated the TMG for five column. Now you added the sixth column to the table. So it will not appear into SM30 automatically. You need to regenerate that TMG. After that, only it will come here. Now, now what you will do? You will simply, simply go to utilities. We will go to table maintenance generator. And what we will do? We will simply, simply delete that TMG. And we will again regenerate that TMG. Now just think this particular table, we created the events also. We use the TMG event also. Suppose if I will go for environment modification events. So we have an event there and we have written the logic. We have created the event and we have written the logic into that particular event. So if you will delete the TMG and you will regenerate the TMG, so everything will be generated again. So this logic will be completely, completely gone. So you must take care or take an extra precaution whenever you are deleting that TMG and regenerating that TMG. Check. Do you have an existing event? Do you have TMG event? And the logic is there into those TMG event. So never, never blindly do that. If there is no TMG event, there is no logic, no problem. You can simply delete and regenerate. Anyways, those extra column will become automatically because we do not have any logic. But yes, if TMG event is there, we need to take extra precaution. So how, how or what are the two ways? You can go for any of the ways to delete or to avoid deletion of TMG event code. Suppose I will go to SCAT transaction code. I will give you firstly more clarity. It might be the case that you do not have the knowledge of function group at this point of time. No problem. In the future, in the modularization technique playlist, you will be able to learn function group topic. But at this point of time, if you remember, when we created that TMG, we put that table name into the function. 
if I will show you this function group in SCAP. From the drop down, choose the function group, pass the name of the function group. If you see in this function group, everything is there what we have done. Suppose if I will expand includes. Now, if I will show you the include in that include, we have the we have written the logic. If I will double click on to this include, have you seen this is the event logic? This is the event logic which we have written. It means into this function group, into this function group, everything is there. So what we are doing? Whenever we will go for delete, whenever we will go for delete. Now, so many check boxes are coming. You want to delete maintenance entry in table, delete overview, maintenance object, event time, catalog entries, and function group. Now you need to take care at this point of time. If I will go for OK, SCP will delete everything and SCP will regenerate everything. So if you will delete everything, it means this function group will also delete. If this function group will delete, this logic will also delete. So we must take care of this particular thing. Suppose, firstly, I will show you. Firstly, suppose I will go for blind deletion of everything and you will be able to see everything gone. Suppose I will go for OK. So this function group will also delete. Now everything deleted. Suppose if I will show you this function group, the function group will not be there. SAP is saying, do you want to create the function group? So everything gone. If everything gone, it was logic also gone. Suppose if I will simply, simply go for one step. Now I will create the TMG again. I will go for save. I will go for save. Now SAP is regenerating this function group. Now SAP regenerating this SAP regenerated this function group. Now, if I will show you this function group, now this function group regenerated. Now in this function group, if I will open it again, and this is the most common mistake which we will do. If I will go for includes, there is no such include here. And if I will show you the code, I will show you the event, environment, modification, events. I will go for OK. I will go for OK. Have you seen everything about this? This is the most, most common mistake which we are doing. Yes, our issue solved. If I will go to SN30 transaction code, if I will go for edit, you can see if I will just go for, it's already open. If I will go to SN30, if I will go to edit, now you can see that extra column came, but because of that, our major rework came, yes. And just think if you have so many logic written, you have used so many events, so much rework will come. So we will just check how we can avoid go for or how we can avoid deletion of that. So firstly, what I will do, I will put the logic again and just think how the rework is. I will simply, simply go to TMG event. I will go to the table, change mode, utilities, table maintenance generator, environment, modification events, I will go for OK. I will go for new entries. I will just put the same to same name. I will go to back, save. I will click on to editor and this just sync. This is a rework. And I'm creating this include again because I deleted everything. So I need to do it everything again. I will go for OK. Now I will write the logic. 
suppose if I remember the logic, so I will write that order number is not initial. And if I will put the order date is equal to side data. Now I will go for activation. Similarly, I will do the changes with the screen also because screen also got regenerated. Okay, I have not written form and end form. Sorry, I forgot to put the name. Form get underscore O data. And now I will put end form. That is a subroutine. Anyways, you can learn in the upcoming list modularization technique. Similarly, I will do the changes in the screen also because screen also got regenerated. If I will go to edit, you can see it is again editable. Now we made it non editable system status. I will go for screen number one. I will go to layout and I will just make it non editable. I will go to order date and I will remove the checkbox input field and I will activate. Now, if I will show you, is it working fine or not? Yes. Yes, it is there. If I will put some entry, I'm not going for order date. Now, this is the extra column. Suppose I'm putting the data. I will go for save. Okay. I'll just check. I think I did some mistake or some activation I have not done. I'll just check. I think I have not done the activation. That include is inactive. Environment modification events. Okay. Now, one important thing. If you are getting this kind of error, that function group cannot be processed. Many people are asking this. Just do one thing at that point of time. Just copy the name of your function group. Go to SCAT and activate. This is the question which maximum people are asking that they are getting this kind of information sometimes. So no problem. Just go to your SCAT transaction code. Put the name of function group and activate everything. Okay, I'll just close that session because it is already open this at this point of time. Now I will activate. Now I activated everything. When I activated everything, it means that include also active. Now if I will show you SM30. So if you are getting this kind of error, you can do this. Now, suppose now I will go for some extra record. I will go for order number, payment mode, total amount, currency. Suppose I will put some date. I will go for save. Now you can see saved date came automatically. That was a problem that it was not active. So I just went to SC80 transaction code and I activated the whole function group. That was the activation problem. Whatever the logic I have written, that was not active. So what is the summary of this particular video? We covered an extremely important precaution because so many people are asking they have so much logic that completely gone. They do not have the backup. 
as they are writing for the first time, they got a requirement to add the extra fields to the table. They deleted the TMG, regenerated the TMG and everything gone. And that is true also. Suppose whenever you are deleting that TMG, at that time, you have function group also. If you go for this SC11 transaction code, if you will go for this, you have function group also. It means you are deleting this function group also. So whatever the logic you have written that is in that particular function group, so it will also also go at that point of time. So I showed you that, but the mistake we are doing. So I added the extra column and yes, whenever we want to see that column in PA and in SN30 transaction code, we'll simply delete, we'll go for OK and every logic gone at that point of time. We will be able to see the column, but logic is completely gone. Then if that is how, how you can avoid that, we have two possible scenarios. We have two solutions. Anyways, I will cover into the next video. Then have you seen when I did it, I have to do the rework again. And if you are getting an error, sometimes what happened, you have written the logic, your function group is not active. So when I maintained that data, I also got the runtime error. Why? Because that particular code is inactive. So what you can do, you can go to SC80 transaction code and activate the function group. And yes, if you are getting some message, that this function group cannot be processed. It means some inactive thing is there. So what you can do, you can simply go to SC80 and activate the function group. Important precaution in the next video, I will tell you how you can avoid so that your logic will remain as it is. That part we will cover in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.